Hi all. So in today's class, we will be studying about silicon controlled rectifier, that is SCR, also known as thyristor, its structure and the static IV cara. Okay, in the last class, we studied about the last previous classes, we studied about power diode, power MOSFET, IGBT, then how can we switch it on, the switching cara, then turn on, turn off. So everything we have seen. So now we are going to study about SCR. So silicon controlled rectifier, as we say, SCR is a unidirectional semiconductor device. So the current will be flowing in one direction made of silicon. This device is called solid state equivalent of thyrotron. So you know the component thyrotron. And hence, it is also referred to as thyristor or thyroid transistor. OK, so you have you have you will see that the the silicon controlled rectifier has two transistors in that. So thyroid transistor, so it becomes thyristor because it is equivalent to thyrotron. So SCR or silicon controlled rectifier is a trade name given to the thyristor by General Electric. So GE, the name was given by GE. General Electric, you should know that, right? Silicon controlled rectifier, the name was given by GE. So now coming to the structure. SCR is a three terminal. So it has three terminals. A, G, K. We will see what they are. Four layers. So it has four layers. One, two, three, four. Four layer semiconductor device consisting of alternate layers of P type and N type material. So P, N, P, N. So it has three P, N junctions. One, so J1, J2, J3. So see the structure, it has three PN junctions, J1, J2, J3. The device has terminals, anode, anode is here, cathode is there, K, and gate. And the gate terminal is attached to the P layer nearer to the cathode. So gate will be attached to the P layer nearer to the cathode terminal. So this, I hope the structure is clear for you. J1, J2, J3, P, N, P, N, and three terminals, anode, cathode, and gate. Okay. So this is the circuit symbol. So now you have seen a P and P and junction will be there. Anode, cathode, and cathode, and gate you have seen. And this is how we uh, symbolize it. So normal diode was symbol was like this. And for SCR, you should show the gate also because we can control the turn on, right? So a, a single SCR is a combination of one P and P. So we have a Q1 P and P and one NPN transistor Q2. So, so when we combine that, it will become P and P N, right? That is three junctions. So three layer, four layer, three terminal device. So I mean, you, now you see that, you know that when we talk about a transistor, there will be emitter, base and collector. So consider the transistor Q1. The emitter of Q1 acts at the anode terminal of SCR. So emitter of Q1 acts as the anode terminal of SCR, while the emitter of Q2 is its cathode. Okay, emitter of Q2 is its cathode. Base of Q1, so base of Q1 is connected to the collector of Q2. So base of Q1 is connected to the collector of Q2, collector of Q2 and collector of Q1. So collector of Q1 is connected to the collector of Q2. So, so sorry, base of Q1 is connected to the collector of Q2. Base of Q1 is connected to collector of Q2 and collector of Q1, collector of Q1 is connected to the base of Q2. Connect, collector of Q1 is connected to the base of Q2 and the gate terminal of SCR is connected to the base of Q2. So this is the gate terminal and this is the emitter terminal. So you see how the structure is forming. So emitter of Q1 will be there, will be the anode and base of Q1 and collector of Q2 will be same and uh, collector of Q1 and base of Q2 will be same. And and N type emitter will be the cathode. So that's how we are forming P and P N. So this is two transistor. 
This is actually the two transistor analogy which we'll be studying in detail. Now we will study about the static IV characteristic of SCR. So you need that. Uh, you, so you understood that we are we are going to study about the voltage across the SCR, that is VA, and the current passing through the anode of the SCR, right? So anode and cathode are connected to the supply voltages. So I have given you the nodes also because this is a theoretical subject. Most of the so you should understand the theory before going to the numericals, right? So anode and cathode are connected to the supply voltage through the load. So anode and cathode are connected to the supply voltage through the load. Another secondary supply ES is applied between the gate and the cathode. So gate and the cathode, we are giving a supply ES, which supplies a positive gate current when the switch S is closed. So we should provide gate pulse, right? On giving the supply, we get the required VA characteristics of the resistor for anode to cathode voltage VA and anode current. So the mode of operation in the resistor is basically of three types. We'll see in the figure next, next figure. That is, first one is reverse blocking mode, forward blocking mode, that is the off state, and forward conduction mode, that is the on state. So they, we have three states here. So this is the VA care of SCR, which you should be drawing in your exam. So you can see here that it is a plot against anode voltage, voltage across the, not anode voltage across the SCR, VA, and the current passing through it. So you can see that we have a, reverse blocking mode, just like I told you, then a forward blocking mode, and then a forward conduction mode. So reverse blocking, forward blocking, and forward conduction mode. And then we will see everything in detail. And VBO is there, which is the forward breakover voltage. And then we have BBR, which is the reverse breakover voltage. And then IG is the gate current that we are supplying we will see everything in detail. So first one is the forward blocking mode. So you can see this is the forward blocking mode. So a very small amount of anode current is flowing. So, but there is no gate pulse. So positive voltage is applied to the anode and the negative voltage applied to the cathode. So positive voltage is applied to the anode and negative voltage is applied to the cathode. No pulse applied to the gate. So we are not giving any gate pulse it will be kept in the open state. Once the voltage is applied, you know that J1 and J3 will be forward biased, positive, positive, negative, negative. So this will be J1 and J, J3 will be forward biased and junction J2 will be reverse biased. As J2 is reverse biased, the width of the depletion region increases. So you know that you have studied already in your analog electronics. So reverse bias means, Junction is reverse bias means PN junction is reverse bias means uh, the width of the depletion region increases and it acts as an obstacle for conduction. So only a small amount of current will be flowing from J1 to J3. So since it is reverse biased, so only a small amount of current will be flowing from J1 to J3. That's why we can see here a very small amount of current is being flowing because IG equal to zero. When the voltage across the SCR is increased, that is this voltage is being increased. And if it reaches the breakdown voltage of the SCR, the junction J2 gets depleted due to avalanche breakdown. So if the voltage across the SCR is again increased, it reaches a stage where it, at VBO, avalanche breakdown will occur. So no longer it will be going in the same pattern. At the avalanche breakdown, the current will start flowing through the SCR. Here the SCR is forward biased, but there will not be any current flow. Okay, current flow will be very, very minute. So here SCR is forward biased, but there will not be any current flow. So before current flow to happen, there should be a gate pulse. Okay, there should be a gate pulse. That's what means yeah, VBO, forward breakover voltage. Now, we will talk about the forward conduction mode. The forward conduction mode is the only mode at which SCR will be in on state and will be conducting. That is, we are providing the gate pulse. So SCR can conduct in two different ways. 
increase the applied forward bias voltage beyond the breakdown voltage (VBO). Apply a positive voltage to the gate turns. So both is required. During this mode of operation, SCR will be operating in forward bias and current will be flowing through it. So you can see that this is the forward conduction mode, and you can see a considerable increase in the value of anode current. And you have these two phenomena are there: latching current and holding current. So that also we will see what is it. I will I will be explaining. So each and every point should be clear for you. So that is the forward blocking mode. Only difference is that gate pulse we are providing in conduction mode. Forward blocking means it is blocked, no gate pulse. Then reverse blocking mode. Again, in reverse blocking mode, the positive voltage is applied to the cathode. So reverse is happening: positive to the cathode and negative to the anode. No pulse given to the gate; it will be kept as an open circuit. So you know that it is in the reverse. So J1 and J3 will be reverse biased. J1 reverse bias, J3 reverse bias, and since the junction J1 and J3 are reverse, there will not be any current flowing through this here. But a small leakage current flows due to the drift charge carriers in the forward bias J2 region. We have a forward bias J2 region. So a small leakage current flows, but it is not enough to turn on the SCR. So that is why we are showing the reverse blocking mode. But after a particular reverse breakover voltage, then the anode current will increase abruptly at after breakover voltage. Okay, now let me explain to you. So uh, this is actually the uh, how practically this silicon control rectifier will look. So different types we are there. You can find it in your laboratory also because you have the same lab this semester. Then the definitions we will see. So what do you mean by forward breakover voltage? This is the maximum forward voltage that can be applied between anode. So for I told you, anode we are applying voltage. It will be forward bias, so maximum forward voltage that we can add without initial without initiating forward conduction. This voltage is defined for a zero gate current. In short, this is the maximum forward voltage across SCR in its off state. So this is the maximum forward voltage across the SCR. So you see here, this is the maximum forward voltage across the SCR. This is current forward voltage across SCR in the on state. Okay, and then what is forward leakage current? So I told you, a small amount of current will be there. The small forward current flowing in the forward blocking state of the device. This current is generated due to minority current carriers and therefore is independent on the operating temperature. That is the forward blocking state. The small amount of current that is being generated. Okay. Then holding current and latching current very important. So what is holding holding current? It represents the minimum current that can flow through the SCR and still hold it in the on state. So holding current is the minimum current that can flow through the SCR. So holding current is the minimum current. You see, holding current is below latching current. So holding current is the minimum current that can flow through the SCR and still hold it in the on state. The voltage associated with the holding current is termed as holding voltage (VH). If the forward anode current is reduced to below holding current, SCR will be turned off. Very important. Why? Why? Also, you will get this question. The holding current is defined for zero gate current. It is denoted by IH, and its value is few tens of milliampere. So it will be it is denoted by IH, and it is defined for zero gate current. Okay, holding current. So below that, SCR will be off. Then, what do you mean by latching current? Holding current, and another one is latching current. So it, it is also a minimum current. It is a minimum anode current that flows through the SCR to latch it to do the on state. Holding current is the current, the minimum current that can flow through the SCR and still it in the hold it in the on state. The other one is latching it on to the on state. So latching current is higher than the holding current. Latching current is important when SCR is being turned on. We can see how latching current is being plotted here. Latching current. Latching current. So latching current is greater than the holding current. So both they both are minimum anode current, but the purpose is different. Definition is different. 
Okay, so I hope you understood what is a so silicon controlled rectifier, its structure, two transistors are there, and then what is, then what did you study? Uh, then the uh, three modes of conduction, VI CARA for reverse blocking, forward conduct, forward blocking, forward conduction, where, where, where we are providing gate pulse and where there, where there is no gate pulse. Thank you.